Welcome back, friends I don't know, to this video series on view remark. So now we're gonna start implementing some tags. Now I'm gonna add a new folder here, and we're gonna call this folder tags, and we're gonna add some markdown to these folders. So let's have a tag called view.md, and then maybe another one called hmm, tutorial.md. And now we're gonna add some front matter to this tag, and it's not going to need any content at all. So we're just gonna throw in some front matter uh, and that's all the data our tag's going to need. So we'll give it an ID, which will be equal to the name of the tag because the name of the tag's going to be unique. So we can use that as the ID. And let's give it a color as well. So maybe this one can be equal to red. And I'm going to copy that, jump into view, paste it in, and let's make the view tag green. Cool. Now we're gonna to go to gridsome.config and register this tags collection. So I'm going to do that by just copying this and we'll just whack it in there and basically change everything that says post to tag. Tag, change that to tag and then this to tag. And I think that should be about it. So now let's go ahead and build the template as well. So we're going to source templates, create a new file there and call it tag.view. Whack in the template and we'll just have it as nothing for now. Maybe just have a H1 saying tags or tag singular. So now let's start up the Gridsome server, Gridsome develop. And when that's going, we can start playing around with this tag data. So the server's up and running. I'm gonna control click here and we can just check that the tag data is actually working. Oh, as you can see, I've already been playing around with this, so I'm gonna get rid of that so you can't cheat. Ha ha. And we'll say query tag, and then we're going to accept the ID. So let's put in there ID, and that will be an ID that is required. And now we can say tag, and as we can see with the type hinting, it looks like the tag has actually been registered, which is awesome. And the ID will be equal to the ID that was passed through, so whoops, wrong way around. And then we wanna pull in the ID of the tag. And remember the ID is the actual name of the tag. And we can set that as the ID because it will be unique. Cool, now let's change this to one of our tag IDs, which will be view. And there we go, it's working, awesome. So that's great, but now we wanna actually use this tag. We want to relate it to our post. So how do we do that? Well, it turns out that in view remark, in the options, we can add a field called refs. So I'm going to come down here and say refs, okay? So basically stuff that this post will reference. And we're going to add to it tags, which will be of the type tag, simple as that. So now what we can do is go into one of our posts and add that tag like this. So check this out. I can now say tags, and simply add an array. So maybe this one is view and tutorial. So it's both of those. Let's copy that, go into introduction, and maybe this one is just tutorial. Save that. And I might just restart this server because sometimes when I change the config, I wanna restart the server just in case there's some things that haven't been picked up. Cool, that's running. Refresh this page. Click on play, okay, so that's still working. So now let's see if we can grab the post with its tags. And I'll just go plus here, query, post. We're going to accept an ID and that ID will be required. And then we're going to say post, accept the ID that was passed through. And let's start by just grabbing the post title for now, just to see that this is working. So we need to grab one of the post IDs. So I'm going to have to say, uh, we're gonna to have to say post all to grab all of those IDs. So post all, uh, and then we can say edges, node, and then the ID. So let's grab the ID of one of these posts. That one there, come back over here, whack it in there as the ID. Whoop. There we go. Click on play, and we're able to grab one of those posts. So now let's see if we can grab the tags with the post now that we've created this relationship. So if I say tags, 
and I want the ID of that tag. Let's see if that works. And it does, how cool is that? So let's grab the other post here. I'm going to copy that, whack it in there. And there we go, this one only has the tag of tutorial. So now that we've got this data, let's see if we can use it. We'll jump into the post template, come down here, and when we're grabbing the post, we're going to grab all of the tags as well. And we want the ID with those tags. So now I can scroll up here and let's add it in here. Mm, we might have like a strong tag that says tags. So let's just see that that's working. I'm gonna jump in here, refresh the page. There we go, so we got tags. We just wanna have a break in there as well. All right, cool, so that's working. Now let's see if we can spit out all of those tags. This is so cool, I love this stuff. All right, we'll say V-4 tag in page.post.tags. And then we're going to set the key equal to the tags ID. And then we should be able to just spit the tag out here. Put that in some moustaches, tag.id. And there we go, the tags are coming through. How cool is that? Now, what about the color? Let's see if we can play around with that as well. Let's put in a style tag here. And I'm gonna put that in a template string because we're going to pull out the color. So let's come in here, grab the color as well. And let's set the background color, background to the tags color. So save that. And there we go, we've got a color as well. Let's make it a little bit more pretty though. Let's just say border, radius and just make it a little bit rounder. And what else? Maybe we'll add a bit of a margin as well. So margin, uh, 12 pixels. I don't know, just something rough for now. Yeah, there we go. So we got some tags added as well. Okay, I'm getting a little bit obsessive here, but let's add some padding, four pixels. Boom. Check the other post. Oh, that's the first one, the second one. Good, that's working as well. Now, what if we want to have a tag page as well? So at the moment, we've got this page that shows all of the posts. What if we want a page up here that says, for example, tags, and then we can grab one of the tags. So let's see if we can do something about that. And we've already built a template, if you'll remember, when we came down here and we gave it a title of tag. So now let's grab the tag that was passed through to this template. And we'll do that by saying page dash query and I've done it again, I've thrown this into the script tag area. <laughs> so let's whack it in there. And then create a query to grab the tags. And guess what? We've already pretty much written this query in here. So that's gonna grab the tag ID, jump back in, whack that in there. And now tag should be equal to the correct tag. So let's change that to page.tag. Save it. Refresh the page. Oh, I've done something wrong. Ah, we need to grab the ID as well. And there we go. So here's all the tags for view. Now we just need to spit them all out. Now let me show you how we can go the other way and grab all of this tags posts. So we'll jump in here. Uh, I might just copy that, create a new tab. And now we're going to grab the posts as well. And to do that, we can say belongs to and then we'll say edges, and then we'll say node, and then we'll say dot, 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 okay, so this might be new to you, dot, 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 on post, okay, so we're basically we're saying the relationship with a post, and then we can pull out everything we need from post. So for example, the title of that post. Let's run that. Oh, ID has not been supplied, so we're going to have to put in an ID as well for this tag. And that will be equal to view. So let's play that. And there we go. So if we have a look here, we're grabbing that tag view. And then if we go a little bit deeper, we were able to grab the post as well related to that tag. And let's change this to tutorials. Oh, I think it might've been tutorial singular. Yeah, there we go. And it grabs all of the posts related to that. So now we can just steal this come back in here, whack that in, 
and we're going to have everything we need. Now, often when I'm dealing with deeper data like this, I do like a little cheat, check this out. If we say pre, like that, and then we just whack all of the data in there, like this, page.tag, it's easier to know what we're working with. So there we go, I can see what I'm working with now. So I wanna say belongs to, and then iterate over all of the edges. So let's go ahead and do that. Div, and then we'll say v-4 equals page.tag.id.belongs to, and what are we grabbing here? We're grabbing edges. So let's say edge in that, and the key will be equal to edge.id. Oh, sorry, edge.node.id. This is why I put this in pre uh, beforehand, just so I can have a look at it um, and inspect this data. So we're gonna save that. Everything seems to be fine so far, and let's spit something out. So what about edge.node.title? So this is basically the post title. Refresh the page. Oh, and I've missed something. Ah, okay, so I've written this wrong. Tag.id, oh, we need to get rid of ID, and then put in here edges. Okay, so it can take a little bit to wrap your head around this. And there we go. So now we're spitting out the post title. Let's actually turn this into a link that we can click on to take us to that post. And to do that, I'm going to say g-link. So basically we're using one of the Gridsum's links and we can say two, and that will be equal to edge.node.path. And let's put some text in here as well, which will be equal to edge.node.title. Woo, all right, save that. Does it work? No, and the reason it doesn't work is because we're not actually using path. So we need to come in here, grab the path as well in our query. Save that. Refresh the page, and there we go. How cool is that? So now, let me just get rid of pre. Boom. So now we've got a page where we can view all of the view related to stuff. And now we can say up here, tutorial, and have a look at that tag. And there's all the tutorial related stuff. How cool is that? So I think the last thing we need to do now is make it so that these tags are clickable. So how would we go about that? Well, let's jump into the post and scroll down a bit here. So when we're grabbing the tag, we can just grab its path as well. And now all we need to do is use that path to link to the tag. So scrolling up here, this is where we're spitting out the tag. So let's turn that into a link by saying G link. And then we're just gonna whack in the tag ID. And where is clicking on that link going to take us to? it will take us to the tags path. All right, refresh the page and it works. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> I love this stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, as I always do. Have fun with this, have a little play around, maybe build your own blog, and I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna dive a little bit deeper. Thanks for watching.